It's a celebration for all women across the world and it's a day where me as a woman can feel liberated. So International Women's Day to me means it's the celebration of women um, in today's society. Um, and it's also a day where everyone can recognise what women do. Conjures up, um, you know, women balancing um, everything where women um, who has always led from behind is like, you know, recognizing and understanding their worth and the role that they play um, in the family, in society. It's a special day for women where we feel more uh, empowered and uh, more confident with ourselves, even though I feel like Women's Day is uh, every day. It means to me a not only a celebration of women internationally, it means that we have a chance to discuss the journey that women have been on over the last how many years. That's what it means. For me, Maya Angelou, you know, she was a strong, you know, she was a mother. I, I, I mean, she, she got on with the work at hand and she was able to juggle so much things and, and, and was still a bit calm and feminine. So she was really, really influential for me because I, I really followed her and, and followed her work and, and, and what she did to inspire women. I'd say someone like Rihanna um, influences me, uh, mainly because she's able to change her um, streams of income. So she's someone that's confident in all areas, um, different sectors, so fashion, music, um, modelling. Um, so yeah, she's someone that's influencing me. Uh, a lot, uh, of course, will be Georges Sand, which is uh, she's a French uh, writer, and she actually chose uh, the name Georges Sand uh, as a stage name, uh, which is a man's name, uh, because she wanted to break the codes of um, of women. She was wearing trousers uh, instead of dresses, uh, and she did a lot uh, of uh, great things uh, for women. So she's also one. I would say Oprah Winfrey. Um, Michelle Obama, and I, or I might be just choosing the bait ones really right now. But I would say my mother is number one, is key. She's strong, she's um, knowledgeable, she's wise. My mother, my grandmother, you know, um, those kind of generational influence, um, just to see um, how they've like each generation has been brought up and what I can add to that and kind of still instill that into my children. For this 21st century, women are just um, making their mark even more so um, in society, in, in, in using those, those mothering sort of skills to sort of come out and, and helping to sort of um, shape things um, in society. They can multitask. I think it's all right when we live in London and um, things seem a bit more level, like a level playing field. So for me, being a woman in 2019, is I'm appreciative of where I live um, and of the fact that what London affords me to have, um, voting for instance, um, being able to work in male dominated fields. But I also understand that there's a lot of struggle for women. I feel like now we have uh, more right and uh... Uh, the time, uh, the more it's passing, uh, the more rights we have and the more confidence uh, we have and we can make uh, more choices for ourselves. Uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia now, uh, you can drive as a woman, so I think every country is making uh, some changes, but we still have uh, a long way uh, to go. In the 21st century, women play a huge respons responsibility um, when it comes to how the society is shaped. Um, we are nurturers and creators, so I believe that we are people that should guide the next generation. They do have their role to play in society and, you know, for me it's just balancing that recognition and, and, and um, ensuring that at least they are recognised for the work that they do and what they're putting and what they do, with, um, you know, in supporting even the men from behind as great leaders. Um, being a woman in 2019 is being, as I said before, being strong and being able to make your choices when you want to make your choices and make the right choices, be able to make the right decisions and be alone as a woman making yeah. the decisions. <laughs>
confident. Um, yeah. Creative, determined, and an avid multitasker. Definitely strong. And I'm eccentric, I'm quite eccentric. And um, for me, togetherness, unity. I would say kind because uh, that's what people say and uh, I agree with it and uh, maybe I would say creative uh, and um, funny. Strong, independent, confident and bold. 